Hi there. What I have today, well, what I thought I was going to have today was these two leg locks. Now, these were sent to me by Stephen Stone, who'd uh, emailed me and mentioned that he did have this one, which is from the the list of the Chris Evans <coughs> uh, hard easiest locks to hardest, like ten to one. I think this is the one with the removable hard plate is the number nine, and the leg wire I do have is too short. So this one must have the highest lift and I didn't make a wire for that type of lift. And again, <coughs> this one must have the highest lift again. So I won't be able to pick them today because I'm gonna have to make a wire for it. But thank you very much, Stephen, for sending me these locks. It's very much appreciated. And I had a meet up with Papa Smurf last night and basically just talking about whatever, locks, about life. And he gave me a, a Lotto Master Lock, the blue, a blue one. I do have a yellow one, which is great and now I do have a blue one and I did get the yellow one from him as well and he also gave me a key extractor the I think it's a I think a Peterson might be Sparrows but I did try it out and it's bloody great so what I am going to pick today is this thing. Hopefully I can set it right. Set this a little bit further back. Now this is a night latch and also it is a deadbolt which I've made myself. I did get one from Chris Evans where he'd put a deadbolt into a piece of wood and I thought I'd give it a go myself. But I thought, well, when you go to a wooden door, usually it has a night latch as well. So I thought I'll try and pick them both. I won't cut them as it probably will take up too much time. And Hopefully, we'll get it picked. So, I will try and pick the night latch first, I think. It is a, a, a zone night latch. Pin five. Three, one, and we fill into a full set. I can't get onto that there, I might have to use a shorter hook. Pin four. And we have lost our full set. Sorry if my hand is in the way. There we have it. Don't know whether yeah you can see the latch retracting there, so I will try and keep that from 
lock them back up. <coughs> and then we'd have a look into the keyway, which I already know is a fortress, which is a five gauge. getting that, that click going round that you know the wire is long enough as Chris Evans has stated before so we'll just go through the lock looking for bind and levers so one, two, three was binding So I think five set, four set, I think I just rolled under that mid set, three, I don't know whether two set, I think it might need lifting higher. No, I think two set, go back under three. Four, five, come back under to one. So one was set, two, three, four. I think five is locked up, so we'll reset it again. Lever three, four, five, two fiddles are good set. And there we go. <coughs> we do have an open. And again, made sure this was still open. And now the door would open. So there you have it. Uh, it was just a, a little project I wanted to do for myself and just show you that I've done it. That was the the bitten of the key for the night latch. So hopefully I'll get some wires made up for these leg locks and get them picked as well. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you very much Stephen Stone for sending me those locks. It was very much appreciated and I think that's about it. Thank you. Bye for now.